Good morning, everybody. It's Kim, and it's Forage Friday. Well, I'm not at home today, so I'm going to take you to my daughter's gorgeous gardens that she has here, and I'm going to show you some things that people don't realize are not only beautiful, but they're edible. And it starts right here in her gorgeous little flower garden she has out front. And let me introduce you to a delicious vegetable, flower, whatever you want to call it, and that is your everyday day, day lily. Now, most of you are aware of these. These are the ones that when you're driving through the country, you might see them all over in the ditch. These common orange ones, which I find absolutely gorgeous. Those are edible, as well as these fancy colored ones. So, what part is edible? Start with the flowers. They are really delicious. First thing you wanna do is, if you make a big salad, go ahead and pick one of these flowers. Pull them apart. You can, if you want, you can leave them whole. You can chop them up. Throw them in your salad. Add some beautiful color. They're very mild. They got a little sweet taste to them and they just make your salads look really pretty. The other thing, sorry, you're gonna hear a lot of city noises here. The other thing that is really good are the unopened flowers. You can take these if you have a lot of them. You can fry them up in a little bit of butter and some garlic. You can eat them that way. You can take the entire flowers. You can put them in a tempura batter and you can fry those and deep fry them. They're really pretty on a table. But a lot of people don't want to waste their flowers. So what I do, and it's best if you do this either late at night or early the next morning, you can actually eat the flowers that bloomed yesterday. You don't want to eat them when they're too old, but if daylilies, if you don't know, they open up one day, once they close, they never open up again. So go ahead and pick those spent flowers and fry them up. Put them in deep fryer. Put them in the butter and some garlic and fry them up. A little salt and pepper. They're really, really delicious. And they're very edible. As you can see here, she's got a very big variety. And this one's going to bloom tomorrow. But look at how big that bud is. That is edible. That's a nice fat bloom. The flowers would look beautiful in a salad. So don't think that just because they're pretty that you can't eat them. And if you're really brave, you can, you know, you're going to dig them up and divide them. You can actually eat the little tubers. You could roast them like potatoes, um, put some, you know, olive oil, salt, pepper, little rosemary, some thyme on them, and roast them in the oven like you would a potato, and you can eat those as well. They're actually pretty delicious. So daylilies, you can eat them as much as you want and make them part of your diet. So let me take you around back to her garden and I'm gonna show you something else you might not know that you can eat. To show off her garden a little bit. Now the funny thing is, is when my kids were growing up, they wanted nothing to do with gardening. And up until three years ago, she had nothing here but grass and she has expanded to take up most of her backyard, as you can see. Started out with just these couple little beds right here, and she kinda got the gardening bug like I did, and she's kinda digging up her entire yard to turn it into an urban farm. She's actually found that her and I sell vegetables off her corner here, and um, the neighbors love it. They love watching us work out in her yard, and then they know when we pick some vegetables, we put a sign up and we sell out usually within a day or two. But anyway, another thing people don't realize that you can eat. This here is a pumpkin. And the female flowers have the little baby pumpkin at the bottom. So you wouldn't want to pick these. But if you get a flood, a lot of times you will get... Let's see if I can find one. A lot of male flowers. The males, let me pick this one, make it a little easier. The male flowers do not have that little, that's not a pumpkin there. You can see the difference here. You've got the 
and get a good view for you here. You've got the male pumpkin. It's got a little bulge there, but it's not really a separate fruit. So you could take these male flowers. You only have to leave a couple. You can go ahead and use them like this, just like you do the daylily flowers. You could throw them into a tempura batter, deep fry them. You can use the unopened flowers and again, saute them and eat those as well. You could do that with any squash, your zucchini, your pumpkins, um, squash in general. I haven't done it with cucumber plants, but all the squash plants. If you get sick of eating zucchini, go ahead and eat the flowers. They work, they, they are delicious and they will taste really good. I just thought I'd show you the rest of her little garden. She's got a few little chickens here and she's got her corn patch. And like I said, I'm kind of proud of the fact that my daughter's kind of taken over the garden bug like I get. And this is her little yard here just outside of Detroit. And she's made it look really pretty. There was absolutely no flowers, no garden, nothing here three years ago. Yeah, it's a work in progress, as they all are. Takes a little bit of clean, extra cleanup, but it's really turning into a beautiful space here in the middle of the city. So anyway, this is here. This is an onion. She's letting it go to seed. She collects her seeds like I do. And if you really wanted to at this point, just like you do with the chives, you could cut this off. You could eat these little tiny flowers. You could pull them apart and throw them in a salad. You get the onion flavor. You could put them in some vinegar and make an, um, a nice like salad dressing vinegar. It would have a mild onion flavor. So anyway, some of the things that you can eat that you didn't realize grow right here in your own gardens if you're interested. Or if you're a flower gardener, you could still eat your beautiful flowers. So. Let me know, have you ever tried to eat a daylily or a squash flower? Let me know what you think about them in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Otherwise, I will see you again in a few days, and you guys have a wonderful day.